Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to discuss about uh, accounts receivable receipt creation process. So as part of Oracle standards, there are two ways we can use to create receipts. One is manual, second is imported. So while we create a receipt, there are standard configurations are required. So without having those configurations, you shouldn't be able to create or import receipts. So now let's go through this diagram, which will give the comprehensive of knowledge to understand the entire receipt creation process flow of the configuration part. So first we need to create receipt class. So the receipt class is associated with the three different methods. So creation method, remittance methods and clearance method. So each method should have their own significance to perform the activities in Oracle application. When I say creation method, under this receipt class, creation method, either it is a manual or automatic. So based on the selection of creation method, the remittance and clearance method will be available. Saying that clearance method, so clearance method is nothing but either do you want to reconcile these receipts which is going to be created under the specific receipt class that will be configured under clearance method and as like as a remittance methods. So how you want to remit these receipts by using these receipt classes. So there are a couple of ways to choose remittance methods, either no remittances, standard factoring and standard factoring. So these are the ways we would able to choose the receipt creation methods and clearances and remittance methods. Accordingly, the system would perform the your activities. And this all receipt class will be associated with the, these three different methods. And this all together will be associated with the receipt method. So now the receipt method is become as a very key function or configuration in order to create a receipt. So that is a hierarchy and the receipt method will be associated with the remittance bank accounts. So let's say example, the client is using multiple bank accounts in order to uh, maintaining their bank statements or like, you know, maintaining their customer payments in different bank accounts. So those bank accounts we should associate with the or map with your remittance Receipt methods. So, remittance bank accounts. So, the remittance bank account will be associated with the uh, below three different zones. I mean, different areas business units, bank account, and GL account references. So, here the three different setups are very significant while we creating a research by using this entire process flow of the research business account. So under which business account, the specific bank account will be associated. That will be assigned over here. So bank accounts, which bank account we are going to maintaining the customer payments. So that will be associated with the, your receipt method and GL reference accounts. So what are the GL reference accounts? So it means whenever the customers, I mean to say the client is going to be creating or importing uh, receipts, so by using any of the this specific receipt classes under the method, then what account entries or I would say the cash accounts or unidentified accounts or like you know, applied accounts, these all the accounts should be derived from this setup. So that is what it is most important to configure these setups. If you look at here, GL account reference, cash account, receipt confirmation, remittance, factory, unapplied receipts, Unidentified receipts, unaccount receipts, unidentified discount, and added discount. So these are the things will be associated with the under your GL account, GL account reference tab. So this is the entire flow of the your receipt class and methods. So without having these things, we couldn't be able to create a receipt. So let's go to table. Which are the tables are key while we create a receipt? So AR cash receipts all. So this will be holding receipts header 
payment information which may be customers. So this is very significant table. All the receipt data will be stored under this table whenever you can go back and retrieve the data for your analysis purpose. Now, let's get into application to create one receipt class and methods accordingly and the receipt methods will create and will assign the bank remittance accounts to them and will perform one use case. Since already I created one receipt class under that I created methods as well as I will go through that and then we'll perform one reset. So name is 25A reset class. Creation method is manual, which I mentioned that in Excel sheet here, manual. And remittance method, I do not want to do any kind of remittance because of the, I directly received check from the customer. And still the amount is lying in my bank account. And clearance method, I don't want to do any kind of reconciliation since already it is directly received from them. So this is the combination which we are going to using to create. And here right hand side there is a one checkbox called as a require confirmation. This we can use for the, if wanted, the require, uh, confirmation for the any of the reset classes or automatic debits also. I mean to say automatic resets we are going to use it. And reset methods. So as I mentioned that here it will be determined that what reset method we are going to use for our business process. So I given as a 25 reset method. In case of a, the client, we can create as a the actual naming convention. And under that, we notice that remittance bank accounts. So these remittance bank accounts are we are configuring under reset methods. So here remittance and bank accounts. Click on the symbol and you can choose which business unit under this we are going to creating that we need to identify. Just click on row, click on edit. Since already I created that, just I want to walk through it. Notice here business unit, US1 business unit, Bank of America and branch and uh, account is buffer, Bank of America 2869 and primary. And here, so this is remittance bank currency, currency code. Okay, generally we can have the different currency codes which you can use it, all right? So I will show you one difference between this currency and actual currency when we are creating receipts also. And which I mentioned that GL account references here. So based on the configuration what we selected at the uh, receipt class level, based on that, these fields will get enabled. Cash account and unapplied receipts, unidentified receipt, and account receipts, and earn discount and earn discount. So when we're creating receipts by using this combination of the receipt methods and all of them, automatically the system will take this consideration and pull the GL accounts from here based on the this configuration only. So that is the linkage between your configurations. Save and close. Go to home page. Accounts receivable. Click on task panel. Create receipt. Notice here the receipt types are two. One is standard and miscellaneous. So there are all the fields are grayed out now. Grayed out now. So where we couldn't able to enter any of the fields until we select the business unit name over here. Select business unit. Notice. Here the currency will come uh, uh, will get automatically populated the based on your business in it. See, so it means that this particular one is associated with the associated with this uh, this currency. And select receipt method. So when I select the receipt method, just notice here the remittance details will get populated automatically. The currency code also will get automatically populated populated by defaulty from here. 25A. See, it means that the header level receipt is associated with your business unit, which is having, and your remittance bank account is this particular currency code. There would be possibility where we can have the different currencies for the your remittance bank accounts. Whereas we are going to creating two different kind of 
currency codes as well as and reset number or eight five eight five amount is five thousand dollars. Who is the customer? Easy solutions. Select. Yeah, that's all to capture here and click on submit. If you want to apply this receipt to open transaction of this customer, then you can go and click on submit and apply manually. So for now, I'm going to click on submit. Take this receipt number 8585. So now I want to see either this receipt is like you know stored under the specific Oracle table or not. For that, what do you can do? Just go and run the the table name. Go here, go to diagram. So I will tell you how to go this uh, navigation also. Go to navigator, tools, reports and analytics, click on browse guideline and then click on create. Under create, we will see data model. Let me cancel it here. And we will go through next one here. Browse, browse catalog. Click on create data model. It will take you through the how to write SQL queries without having any technical skills. SQL query. Choose database where the data will be storing. FSCM. Give us a text. Select, start from, take this table name, your cash receipts, all, save OK, data, review. So here, this is the table where it is recording all the data of the receipts. So here, how to how should we identify our receipt? Just search with the receipt number. So here, take this table name as a receipt number. Go to diagram. Select your uh, statement from here, where ID number, I mean to say receipt number equal to R8585, quotation closed, and Save OK. Data. View. Yeah. So this is the our specifically what we created receipt. So receipt ID is very, very important. If you want to debug any further things by using this number, it is easy to identify. And um, go to right. You will see who has created this receipt created by FSA, FS16 student, and amount is 5,000. And the currency is USD. Status, notice here, status is unapply. Type is cash. Receipt number R8585. So this is how you can see the details of the receipt from the back end. So this would be really helpful for you being as a functional consultant you can write these simple queries to understand the table what is being captured in the data. And also notice your remittance bank account ID. This is the bank account ID. So you can see all of them. And also notice re uh, receipt remittance method. And likewise, so you can see all the required information from the back end. And also, if you want to see that, let's say example, AR payment schedule all. So this is one of the table which will give complete history about the your invoices. So if I run this query, it will help you to understand how many invoices still open state. How many invoices are still open state? Comment this tables and run this query. Say data view. 
just had to qualify records to showcase here so this is the table here payment schedule all it means that the moment when you create a risk uh, transaction the data will be populated under this table to show, show as an open state until the payment will get it will be become as open state after we apply the receipt on the transaction it will become as a closed if you say status see here this all five transactions are still open state this is how we can notice which is still pending to capture and also this is one of the table key source for your aging report also when you run the aging report the aging report automatically will refer this table to populate which are the things are still pending uh, from the customer accounts so based on that the system would be able to identify and then populate the data into your respective aging buckets 1 to 30 31 to 60 likewise it will capture the data so this is how we can query the simple tables from our end to understand the if the receipts got created properly or what are the data is capturing under these tables so this is how we can see the receipt process it's a complete one so the way so the same way we can see import also so here the key consideration can be taking care of a main thing is the flow of the process thing is receipt class will be associated with the these three methods and these three methods would be mapping to your receipt methods and the receipt method is mapping to your remittance bank accounts the remittance bank account is associated with the your business unit bank accounts and gl account references so this is the completely hierarchy setup for the receipt classes thanks for watching my video do subscribe share and like thank you